Hi, Grace. It was great talking with you today. I wanted to send you this quick website audit as promised to show you where your company is ranking currently and what your competitors are doing to claim the top spots on Google. So I'll also give you some website tips along the way here too. And in this video, we'll just go over a quick uh, few specifics on how to rank your site and how to beat your competition online. So the three things I'm going to talk with you about are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the home page of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the home page, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now, to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your home page, and you're going to want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like Electrician Corpus Christi, um, Corpus Christi, Texas electricians, and other keyword phrases along those lines. That way, when anyone types these searches into Google, your website will pop right up. So, looking at your website, I really like the design of it. It's very nicely laid out, like how you have all your pictures here. Um, really helps to build trust with your prospective clients. Um, and I also, I also like how you have um, you know, this whole section here for requesting an estimate, that's really great. Um, and then I saw down here that you have all of your testimonials. So testimonials are always so good to put on the home page, um, just because some people have designated testimonial pages, but I always think that um, they're, they're best suited on the home page. So that is awesome. Um, as far as your service pages go, I saw that you have them split up um, by residential, and then you have commercial, and then you have the technology page over here, and you kind of break, break it down what the services entail on each of these pages. Now, just a tip, something that um, I always recommend to my clients is to go ahead and split these uh, services up into individual service pages. So if you were to do that, you would have a tab up here that said services, or you could do you know, residential services, and then um, make it a non-clickable menu item so that you have all of these on the drop down list and people can click on that, you know, whatever they're looking for right there, like service and panel upgrades, for example, they could, they could click on that. And what I would recommend if you do end up splitting them up individually is having about 500 words on each of these service pages of content and then make about, the standard rule of thumb that I use is one keyword phrase for every 100 words. So you could have anywhere from three to five keywords on each of these service pages. And it just really helps those back pages to rank so that if anyone's looking for that service in particular and they type it into Google, that back page will pop up and then they will be directed to your website. So it just really helps um, you to be able to draw in more organic traffic that way. Um, but otherwise, these look really good. Um, and I also like how you guys have each of your bios and your pictures here and what you do for the company here. It's really great. So um, the other thing is probably the biggest tip I would give you on your website um, as far as content goes is, like I said before, you'll want 1,500 to 2,000 words. And so on this home page, um, I would shoot for anywhere from 10 to 15 keywords, sticking with that same rule of thumb that I mentioned earlier. And um, that way you can go ahead and draw more organic traffic. Like I said, with your service pages, you could also do that with your homepage by adding all that content and having your keywords spread organically throughout the paragraphs on this homepage. So overall, you have a really nice site. Like I said, I really, really like the design and the layout. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about today um, is backlinks. So backlinks are um, really important. Um, the thing with Google is it can kind of be like a popularity contest because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. So it's very important to remember not all backlinks are created equal. And what that means is you're going to gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry specifically. So, for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you, or 
um, a popular website that features various types of home services and features some electrical services, that would be another good one for you. Something that has to do with the services you offer, you're gonna get a lot more influence given to you from that type of backlink versus a backlink from, let's say, your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So a tool I use to measure backlinks is called Arifs, and it gives you a lot of really valuable data on what kind of traffic is coming into your website. So here, um, you can see, I put your website in at the top, and you can see that you have about 36 backlinks um, given to you by 12 different websites. And then it looks like you have zero for your organic traffic, which tells me that you have minimal to no traffic coming into your site as of right now. Um, so this is measured over the last 30 days. So it looks like um, you've had zero website visits in the last 30 days. Um, now, I put in your, one of your top competitors in the area, to, just for comparison purposes, uh, Bud Electric, which I'm sure you've heard of, and they have 225 backlinks, and they're higher quality backlinks, um, so it's giving their site more power um, from 36 different websites, and then they have 95 for their organic traffic. So over the past 30 days, they've had 95 website visits. So um, a strategy that we tell our clients to use to get that same kind of influence and power as their competitors is to go in and get the same backlinks as they have and then continue to just keep adding on more and more so you'll end up surpassing them while gaining more power to your site, a lot more organic traffic, and of course new customers will go along with that. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about today are citations. And citations are very important because if someone's looking for a service now, most likely what they're going to do is they're going to type in what service they're looking for into Google. And then a lot of times once they pull this up, they see the local Google My Business map pack right here. And they see these top three businesses, usually three or four businesses, ranking. And they think that they are the very best in the area. So they want to go to them to get this service from them. A lot of times, about 70 to 80 percent of people will click on their websites, give them a call, and some, most of them probably convert to clients. So um, the reason these people are up here at the top is not necessarily because these businesses are the best of the best. It's because they have the most citations. So citations are anywhere online where your business name, phone number, and address are listed in directories such as Yelp, Facebook, Yellow Pages, just to name a few. And so what you'll want to do here is kind of the same strategy that you want to use with backlinks. Um, you'll want to go in and list yourself in these exact same directories that these three businesses are listed in. And then you'll want to add on like a space cushion of let's say 20 to 30 percent more directories than your competition. So what will happen is over time you'll end up infiltrating this Google My Business local map pack. You'll be ranking at the top and before your competitors even realize it, they won't be able to catch up with you because you'll keep adding on more backlinks and more citations, taking on all of that new organic traffic and getting all of those new customers and business to, for you guys. So um, I also want to show you, last thing I want to show you is my website. This is my company, Lobo Leads, and this is my phone number. And if you have any questions about this video after watching, I'd love to help answer those and hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time.